Hello guys, so today we're going to be making trousers, a shirt tucked in and we'll see if we can add a jacket on top. So we're going to be layering clothes using Divine Cut. Um, so to get started, um, select your character, assign it here as the character object and click on new cloth. Fear not, I am with you. Let the angels that were from the beginning of time weave your garment pure and divine. Click on generate rig and we can now shape the trousers. So since we want it tucked in, we want the waist to be kind of high, like here I would say. And you can just um, shape it nicely to help it out over here. Nice. Then for the thigh, you can set how big you want the trousers to be. Um, you don't want, okay, um, this is fine. So for these circles, you don't want this area to go near the middle. If not, it might join with the other trouser. So you want to just give it a little bit of gap to work. And then for the ankle circle, you can set it to whichever size you want, however you want to shape the trousers. So we don't want to cuff the ankles and we don't want materials. If it cuffs the ankles, it'll make this place um, snap onto the character for the ankles. But we don't want that. So just click on generate trouser and we have our trousers. Let me just put this in rest position. And we have some nice looking trousers. I'm just gonna get rid of these seams for now. So you can come over to the design and toggle seams. Great. And um, I'm just gonna shape this middle area a little bit. So I'm gonna lift these vertices up a little. I'm gonna press GZ, just move it up a little. And you know, just perfect the shape of this area as much as we can, like that. And I think this is fine. So we're, gonna, we're just gonna press play and see how this looks. And it's not bad, but for this area, I don't want it um, falling down like this. It's kind of fine as it is actually. But if you want, if it's a bit too baggy here, you can just paint. Um, inflation or deflation and just reduce your strength and just tap on this area lightly like this and it will kind of shrink that area so it's going to deflate that area a little press play see how it acts i can see that's better all right if you want to add like a seam like a gator down here you can select this line of vertices Press Shift E and drag, that'll tighten it. And it looks better when you enable the second subdivision modifier. So you press play and it's fine. So when you play the animation, it might not be bound to the character. Let's just see how it looks first. And you can see this area is not like stuck onto the character. So if you want to pin areas, you can paint pinning, but by default, that area you can see is already pinned. All you have to do is press bind and it will bind it to the character. So I'm going to bake these trousers now for you to see. Um, also, before I bake the trousers, I've known the quality steps could be set to about 20, because 10 is very low. The tension, I'll put it down to two or three, and the shear to two or three. So that'll just allow some stretchiness for when she moves her knees and everything. So I'm gonna bake this out and let's see how it looks. Okay, so now we're moving on to making the shirt for the character. So select your character and click on new cloth and place Fear the Fear not, I am with you. Let the angels that were from the beginning of time weave your garment pure and divine. Okay, so that's fine. Click on generate top rig. And now we can use these circles to shape the top. So this next size is okay. Make sure it's fine here. And the uh, shoulder, want it bigger than her arm. Let's give it some room to breathe. Like that. I think that's okay. Then for the biceps or wrist, you can just move it around here. And I think that's also okay. That's okay. Um, for the waist, for the waist, since it's a tucked in shirt, we want to set it to the same height as the trousers. So Make the trousers visible and you can just set it like this high 
and that's fine. So we can now click on generate top and it will generate the top. Okay, sometimes it could come up inverted like this. Just um, undo and fiddle with these circles around here. So it's good that that happened just in case you run into it. Just make them face each other a bit better and click on generate top. Marvelous. Um, you can now either paint this area or I'm just going to go into sculpt mode and inflate it a bit more. Like that. So that's fine. Now since we want it tucked in, I'm going to go into edit mode and just scale these vertices as close to her waist as possible. And along X, you can see the mirror has broken, just move it along X and it will go back together. And now we're going to click on this button here on the shrink wrap. So it shrink wraps onto the character like this. So you can move this one straight down so that that area kind of drops down on, from the cloth. And I'll move this back a bit so that the front is kind of more tucked in than the back. Okay, and we can add another cut around here for more geometry. Don't add another cut along here though, because it will affect the preset process. Um, and yeah, I think it's good to go. I'm going to save this and let's turn this into a shirt. So, so come on the divine presets and turn to shirt. You can have the color, materials, and that to turn to shirt. Please note. Okay, so this is the shirt it has created. Um, and what it was saying is that the color, because it runs slowly, is deactivated at first. When you're done with your cloth simulation and you want to simulate the color, just come under the design section and activate color, and then you can um, save the bake under the cloth settings here. All right, so um, let's see how the shirt behaves when we press play. It's not always perfect at first. You can see some places here need some helping out like here. So what we're going to do is go into edit mode and just move it a bit closer to that area. Because they're trying to reach this other side and we can also move them even closer to give them more of a hand in what they're trying to do. And this area as well, they're trying to close. So let's see how this behaves. And I think that's okay. It's not bad. Um, this area could be a bit better. Let me see what we can do here. We can move this down like this. And this one as well. And this face here is way too wide. So I'm just going to adjust that as well. And let's give them the same width. And let's see how that behaves. A little bit worse. No, that's actually better. It's actually better just to perfect this region. So what we want to do, move this down. So we're just giving it a hand so that it can close properly. Okay, I think that's okay. That's all right. Then I don't want this seam around here. So we're just going to go into edit mode, select this seam, press control E and H. And I'll get rid of that. And then click on this guy and click on bind so it will bind it to the shirt that's all right so now you can see this place is not pinned to the character all you want to do is go into edit mode select that region and under the paint section click on pinning and pin it great now let's see how that behaves Marvelous. So we just need to sort out this area. Since this place is not simulated, we're going to move it exactly how we want it to be at the start. So this lower one too. Let's move it closer. Um, this one. Okay. And then just neaten this area. like so then when you're done click on bind to update it and let's see how this behaves and that's fine i think that's pretty neat that is pretty neat and what you can now do is um we can paint inflation around here so that this area is a bit more puffy so under the paint section under the plates i'm just going to hold control 
and just lightly paint around here. In fact, I'll leave the front so the front is more tucked in. And just slightly paint around here so that this place kind of like balloons out. We have more cloth around here. Press play, let's see how it behaves. And that's good, it's kind of puffed out, which is what I wanted. And we're going to increase the weight so that it drops down and doesn't just stay stiff in the air like this. So here you can see vertex mass. I'm going to change this to 1.3. Save it and let's see how this plays. It's still not entirely heavy enough. You can see it's still kind of out. What I'm going to do instead is move these guys inwards a bit more and move this guy outwards because the other guys are pinned. That's why it's um, stiff. So click on bind to update it. And let's see how this behaves. And that's better. That's better. We can also increase the weights if we want. But I think this is pretty neat. I'm going to save it now. And all we need to do now is add accessories, the fun part. So come over to Divine Accessories over here in your asset browser. I'm going to add buttons to this point. When you drag a Divine Accessory, Make sure to come to the design section and press divine accessory for every object you drag in because they all treat them differently so now you can see it snaps on when we duplicate it so you can duplicate and move duplicate and it snaps on like that another one here so either place them along here or along the middle i'm gonna put one more here then we can add a pocket and remember to press, let me just rotate it. Remember to press divine accessory and I can see it snaps on and shrink caps on. So they all behave differently. And lastly, I'm gonna make this automatic so you don't have to do this, but um, I'm gonna give a collision modifier to the shirt so that it collides with the pocket. But the pocket is a cloth also. Enable, set damping to 0.5, minimum outer, minimum in a after you add the collision just make sure the collision modifier is under the clock modifier right below it save that and when you press play you'll see the objects are not bound to the cloth yet so either select all of them and press bind or select nothing and press bind and it will bind all the necessary objects to the cloth all right so i'm going to play this out i'm also going to simulate the color and let's see how this looks I added the belt using this belt generator. It's a really cool geometry node setup. Just place it onto the trousers, set the trousers as a cloth object and click bind and you're good to go. Finally, to add the jacket is the same process. Create a top and then click turn to jacket under the presets. Remove the pin and shrink wrap from the chest area and the wrist. Pin the upper area. Give a collision modifier to the other major cloth objects like the shirt, the trousers and the pockets and make sure to put the collision modifier right after the cloth modifier. Set damping to 0.5, thickness anywhere between 0.001 and 0.01. Click bind and you are good to go.